There are so many sides to every city, and today on the Express, we're bridging the gap between work and play. On today's show, could this place be any cooler? The Good Life. I have a play date with celebrity trainer Tommy Europe. Clean up the bag like square. West Coast style. Mana tackles part one of a GQ makeover. The Sierra Seal Giants report. We meet the WHL's luckiest fan. Freaking out, this is crazy. Plus, on Sprotshaw Community College's higher learning. I see if I can cut it as a hairstylist at Hennessy Salon and Spa. Ready? See that and more local expression. <laughs> Glad no one's sitting there. Yeah. Welcome to the Express Only on Shaw TV. I'm Johanna Ward in Burnaby. Metro Vancouver, it's a city of hustle and bustle. So consider today's Express the fast and the fabulous, starting with the Sierra Sill Giants Report, where we want you to put your game face on. The Giants Report is presented by Sierra Sill Joint Formula 14. Sierra Sill Joint Formula 14, health you can feel. Vancouver Giants fans of all ages are pouring into the Pacific Coliseum for tonight's game. I'm really excited to be here at the Giants game with my family. It's exciting and it's not as expensive as the Canucks. I mean, you can still go for a good game. In fact, most of the Giants' biggest fans are also their youngest. I like Gallagher and Manning. They're just great players. A lot of these autographs are from them. Obviously, you remember when you were that age and you looked up to guys in the Western Hockey League and uh, when you get a chance to meet them it was a really cool experience. It's special when you walk out of the dressing room and there's probably like 40 kids waiting there. I see where they're coming from and I think of myself when I was little. Tonight is Fan Appreciation Night which means Giants fans can win $30,000 in prizes or this brand new Honda Odyssey. That'd be awesome. What a car come to a game, it'll be fun. After two periods of hockey, 10 fans who were chosen at random gathered on the ice. After they were each eliminated, it came down to the final two. You just won a car. I know, I'm freaking out, this is crazy. I love it, it's awesome. You must be a big Giants fan. Absolutely, love Brendan Gallagher. Yeah, we've been season ticket holders for years. A big night for this fan and for all Giants supporters as the team heads into the playoffs. It's a time when players say they need their fans the most. We try to use them every game and they uh, they get us going. I'm Bianca Salterbeck in Delta for the Express. The Giants Report was presented by Sierra Sill Joint Formula 14. Health you can feel. Congratulations to the Vancouver Giants for making it into the WHL playoffs. And congratulations to Burnaby singer-songwriter Kate Reed, who's opening ears and eyes with her new album about family experiences in the GLBT and queer communities. That's so gay. Singer-songwriter Kate Reed is recording her next album with a little help from Ben. We said it. And Jessica. Mommy blessed us with the bestest gift of all. It's an album of songs about the children of gay and lesbian parents, songs about the kids' experiences growing up in queer families. How it came about was I, I ran into um, a couple friends of mine and um, they had recently had kids um, and they had uh, two different donor dads for their kids and it just started me thinking about you know all the possibilities of different kinds of families that are out there and I really wanted to sort of and I you know I started thinking about my uh, partner's own children you know and, and a lot of the children of the friends that I have um, and their parents are queer or gay and I really wanted to start documenting those the, the stories of our kids. That means you got one two three. Tummy Mummy um, is a song about a little girl that I interviewed um, that lives in the Gulf Islands and um, she asked her mother's, she has two moms, and she is a, um, a young girl of colour and she asked her mother's why they were white and she was brown and they had to explain to her that she has a tummy mummy which is her mummy that lives in the US and um, they adopted her from that mom. You made it a part of me, mom's created the rest of me. Radical Donor Dad is about uh, a kid who's in grade three. It's, it's Ben's song, a kid who in, who's in grade three and has to explain to his classmates why he has two moms and he has to also explain what a, what a donor dad is. It feels great to have a song inspired by me and the stories that they come home with from school. 
how I was telling other kids about how I was born. And they were kind of curious of how I was born if I had two moms. Having two moms is quite hard because when I tell kids about um, like what it's like, like about the donut ad, they just don't understand. I try to explain, but it's just so hard because they keep on saying, I don't understand. It's meant to be educational as well, like for people who don't necessarily understand what it's like to live in a queer family or um, may not understand some of the um, challenges and struggles that kids who grew up in queer families might have that are different, you know, because there's, you know, can be bullying and things like that, you know, when other kids learn that someone in your family is gay. So my, my goal is to sort of do some educational pieces around that as well with this record. If you're gay. In Burnaby, I'm Kendall Harris for The Express. It's a grand way to be, and it's okay. You can learn more about Kate's soon-to-be-release kids album at her website, katereed.net. Now let's learn more about life in the sea to sky. We're joining Nicole Fitzgerald in Whistler Village. It looks like you're gearing up for some fun. That's right, Johanna. I've got a beacon, a probe, and a shovel. These are the lifelines for anybody touring in the backcountry. We're going to show you how to use these later on in the show. You need to know what you're doing when you're heading into the backcountry. You also need to dress for it because I'm cold just hanging out here in Burnaby. Anyway, we're looking forward to seeing that later on today's Express along with these stories. How much would you like taken off? This much? Just a trip. Oh, okay. Rockshaw <laughs> Community College's higher learning. See if Mel gets cut for this cut. Oh, the comb. So the seam's yeah. going on the whole time. Yeah. West Coast style. It's a male essentials makeover. Okay. Hotel. The Express, only on Shaw TV. Community programming on Shaw has been generously sponsored in part by... The Express is brought to you in part by Plum, fashion supplier to host Johanna Ward.